Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a main menu for any game. So I've got this scene which is the basic scene startup and as long as you have a main camera in any of your scenes you can use that scene as a main menu. So as I say I'll start with this one. Firstly go to file, build settings and make sure you have all the open scenes added in here. So scene one is the menu added in there. In this case, scene two will be the game we want to play. So file, build settings, and click on open scenes again. Notice that this is now scene number one. So head back to your main menu, and let's create the buttons. So game object, UI, and let's go to button, and click on button, then change the text, and let's have this say, play game. I'm gonna put it in the middle of our canvas. And I'm just going to move it up slightly to about there. And I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to change that to say quit game. So quit game. I'm not going to change the settings in the button itself, the colors and fonts and everything. You can do that if you need to. You can just change everything down there. So we have our two buttons. So now what we need is a script to link these two buttons to what they should be doing. So right click, create, and I'm going to do this in JavaScript because the script itself is ever so simple. There is absolutely no need to go into great amounts of detail. So sticking simple is always the best. So main menu, buttons, and in this script, it's a couple of lines of code. It's going to be two functions. One is going to be the play game and the other is going to be the quit game. So function, play game, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and it's going to be application dot load level and in brackets one, because that was our actual game scene. And then the next function is going to be quit game, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and this is going to be application dot quit, open close bracket, semicolon, and then close curly bracket. That is how simple this can be. So a lot of people struggle with how to actually get this script working with the buttons. An unexpected token just there, we've not done. That's fine. My mistake, I missed off the uh, open bracket. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with how to get the script working with the buttons. It's quite simple. Go to game object, and then create empty. I'm not going to rename it for now. Drag and drop the script onto that game object, and then go to your first button. And down the bottom where it's got on click, list is empty, click on the plus, and then drag and drop that game object into this little box here. Click on the no function list, then click on main menu buttons, and then click on play game. So that's now applied this script of application.load level one to our play button. So we do the same with the quit button. Drag and drop over there, click on no function, click on main menu buttons, and then quit game and save your scene. So that has now created a very, very simple main menu. So you can go into much more detail and do whatever you need to. You can press play game and there you go. You've loaded up your other scene. Now to put that into perspective, I'm going to go into this scene, which is something I've built. Um, very simple. I've used, I've used a scene that's been created and I've added in the uh, canvas itself. So as I said to you, this can be used on pretty much any scene. And if we were to press play on this now, you would see. There we go. So this is a way of creating an animated um, main menu. So if we click on play game or quit game, it would do what we need to. And the same principle applies. Game object, create empty, drag and drop that script onto there. Go on our first button. Add in game object over. And then set as play game. Same with the second one. Oops. Let's click on the add there. Over we go. No function. And set it as quick game. And play. And now we have a fully functioning animated main menu. And off we go. So that is how you can create a main menu quickly and efficiently in Unity 5. Thank you very much for watching.